Hello. Hello. It is me. It is us. Oh, you're not going to close the door? Close the door. Clouds in here, I think. Clouds in here. Uh, <laughs> All right. Now we can get down to busy business in the literature club once again. Okay. And we are talking with Monica. Right. <clears throat> Tilt the screen my way a little bit. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, good sir. <laughs> No, I'm in the wrong here. All the things that happened to me are real. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Uh, sort of. Mm. Maybe she's not an expert. Yeah. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. Elmo, uh huh. Elmo said that too. Yeah, Elmo said that. Mm. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. Why does she keep saying that Suki and Dante go well together like freaking peanut butter and jelly? What does she think this is? Why it can't it be me? After all that pain, don't I deserve it? What pain? I must say, what pain have you been going through? Well, depression, I guess. No. No. I don't deserve it at all. I'm such a burden to everyone. It's only right for him to go for anyone besides me. Especially Natsuki. And she looks much happier now. I'm a bad person. I just want to silence my thoughts. Uh-oh. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. <laughs> it's getting steamy in the literature club. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. Trying different things. People keep telling me this is how I build confidence. Yet I'm disappointed with everything I try doing. Okay. The poem I wrote yesterday. I just want to burn everything I make. Burn it, I say. Dang. Oh, that's okay. You can burn it. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'd love to see you try new things. That's like, the, bur like burning. Yeah, that's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Arson it is. Yeah. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. Monica's words warm my heart a little. I feel that way. I feel like what she's saying is indirectly applying to me. In a way. Why does my mood keep oscillating like that? That's a nice word. Oscillating. I want to put that in my vocabulary. That's what the fans do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just weird. Me too. But aren't we all a little weird? Yeah. But I'll always keep you fine. Wait. Oh, but I'll always help you <laughs> find what suits you the most. <laughs> so don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Yeah. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dante looks a bit uneasy. Did Monica guess his intentions? Uh-oh. Is Dante just trying to impress one of the chicks? Is this a fan main mod? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure she did. All the mods are fan made. Do, what did the, the developers think about this? Did he... I don't think he said anything about it. Oh. He, I think he appreciates people Mod doing that. Game. Yeah, because it gets his game more popular, probably. That's what I think, too. I think he probably played the fan made mod. But people always are sure to credit, like, oh, this isn't an official Dan Salvato game. And make sure to play the original Doki Doki first, which we didn't. But, you know, we know how it goes. <laughs> well, I did. You didn't. He, he wants to impress her. I'm sure of that. Maybe we're going to play that next. Who knows? We could. We could. <laughs> Playing it backwards. <laughs> anyway... Do you want to read my poem now? Maybe. Don't worry, I'm not very good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Is she lying to make him feel better? It's nice, but it's a bad move. Brother. I'm one to talk. Why do I keep picking on everyone? They're my friends. I love them. Just as much as I exhale. My mind is so noisy. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be, to be, to not be, be or not to be, very good. 
Well, oh. Well, that's that's cause I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Yeah. Does Mon- Monica really feel that way? Yeah. I guess there's so much more to uncover under each and every one of us. Everybody has a mask that they put out. They already know. I see. If I if I say anything that I feel most of the time, people say I'm mean. But that's just me. Mm. So I gotta be all happy and cheery. Mm. Because they don't like me being mean. Like, if I was to say how I feel most of the time, I sound mad disrespectful. Because <laughs> my, the way, the way my, uh, I wouldn't say accent is, but the way I say it, the, my delivery is a little harsh. But that's just my natural speaking tone. So when you hear it, you you get kind of defensive. And when you get defensive, you're like, oh man, why are you doing it to me? And then, yeah, yeah. Gotta anyway. work on that delivery, man. That's just the way my delivery is, man. It's just... it's, you know how they say, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Exactly. So I could be like, you know what, man? You're ugly, but you know what? You carry it. You carry it well. <laughs> I'm ugly and I'm proud. I'm ugly and I'm proud. <laughs> well, let's read it then. He takes Monica's poem and reads it. There was a big smile on his face. Is it that great? Why won't anyone show me? That's true. Everybody else is showing their poems except to me. What's going on here? probably in the corner or something. Yeah. Just looking at him. So, what do you think? I mean, literally, you're in the corner. Look, you're in the right corner. Mm. Look at the background. We're like up at the front. Uh, you're not even in the center. You're literally in the right corner. You're yeah. right. You're like the third. Uh, oh, you press the button oh. and now we skip some text. Oh my God. Not the button, the screen. <laughs> I have a touch screen, everyone. So you can touch it. Watch this. Sorry. I'm, oh wait, sorry. I'm not really the right person to ask for the feedback. Fancy. Uh, oh boy, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What if I tried performing it out loud? Would it sound better? Probably. My poem is as fake as I am, though. Wow, you're fake? Yeah, well, she says she has to put on this fake persona of being all cheery, when really, she's not. I always wonder, who the, who the, hell, who the heck tells these people that they have to be cheery all the time? Why do people like seeing people smile all the time? That's the fakest uh, thing a person could do is smile at me all the time. I hate that. I would rather see people just with the bland face, if anything, the mug face, because that's how people be feeling inside. Like, I don't like people smiling at me all the time because I'll be like, what are you smiling for? I like people smiling at me, and I don't like people looking at me more than, like, two seconds. Because then I'll, I'll think you stared at me, and now we got a problem. I'm usually a cheerful guy, except early in the morning when I wake up, but other than that, I'm usually in a good mood. Yeah, I am too. And you see, the way the way I delivered that, it probably was a little harsh. <laughs> it was a little bit, yeah. See? So you gotta but work on it. that's how I really feel. <laughs> that's just me. That's exactly how I really feel. And I, so if I was like this, you know... That sound better? Now yeah. it sounds soft. Yeah. Very, a very, I sound real plush like. Yeah. I don't know, man. Sometimes you gotta let them down easy. I just don't like when people smile a lot, man. It's just. Now you sound like me. It's just a little weird. It's a little weird. I feel very uncomfortable when you smile a lot. I smile a lot, though. I smile to everybody I see usually. It's, it just gives off an artificial thing because people aren't happy all the time. You're going through a lot of emotions and if you smile all the time people always think you're happy when you're really not and then you might get misjudged when you're not happy and then people be like that's not you. You're happy all the time. That's exactly that's exactly what 
she's going through in that's this game. Exactly what I mean. Why? That's why I try to encourage people to be like, why are you so? You don't have to do that. But the my delivery sucks. So I be mad. At, people say I'm mad aggressive. I think I'm too passive. But hey, passive aggressive. I don't know. Yeah. What? What would be the point in performing with it? What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Maybe like yesterday? It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about these stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Would she really be willing to open up to him? What if I did? Like a present. Like a present. I already know what happened. He'd start hating me. You can't just, you know, assume that. Maybe he has the same feelings. You never know. Maybe. I'd be overthinking like that too, so. You should be thankful for being alive. Whoa, this got serious all of a sudden. Yes, it did. Other people have it worse. I I hate that saying too. Yeah. When the people saying other people have it worse, that like unjustifies what's going on with you. Yeah, that's true. Just thinking about it makes me want to cry. Of course he'd say something like that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Dante nods. I don't think he really understood what she meant because he's too dense. Monica's Mo <laughs> Monica's words. <laughs> right, so Mickey's trying to come out of me. Pause. Hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> She's naturally elegant. What would someone like her become my friend? Why would someone like her become my friend in the first place? It's hard to read words sometimes. I see Dante walking towards me. I'm certain he's not interested in talking to me at all. He just wants to. He's just frowning. I smile at him anyway. Oh, look at that. We can finally talk with Dante and he's going to talk with us. Wow. But that means that that's going to happen next time on the Doki Doki Rain Clouds playthrough with your boys. The un, the uh, hidden gems of YouTube. Don't worry, we'll become unhidden one day, and we'll be gold. Now I like my little hidden spot. Oh. If you know about it, you know about it. If you don't, you don't, man. All right. I just, I don't care about the fame. I just care about, you know, us being consistent and having fun. And it, it seems like we are. All right. All right. Well, peace out, y'all. Hey, yo. Hey, yo.